Hello, everybody. It's Saucy Shane. You know what time it is? It's Saucy Sunday. This week, by popular demand, we got two bottles of sauce we're going to do this week. They're going to be pretty hot. I'm probably going to get the hiccups. It's going to be a pretty uh, saucy video, if you know what I'm saying. Now, I will start this video off uh, by apologizing some of my viewers, I tried to go live uh, for this Saucy Sunday. I tried to usually go live when I first started on uh, my Saucy Sunday thing. I wanted to do live reviews on Sunday, turn it Saucy Sunday live. Well, I've had some internet issues here lately. I thought I'd try it tonight. Failure. So, luckily, I didn't open these sauces. What kind of sauces do I have? Last week, if you was with us, I did Aubrey D's ghost pepper sauce from the Rebel <clears throat> Rebel uh, Reserve. This week, there's three bottles of sauce out of that. It's a ghost pepper, a scorpion, and a Reaper 51. Supposedly, the Reaper 51 is the hottest. It says, now hot, even hotter. I guess it's hotter than the first recipe they had on it the ghost pepper one i did last week had extract in it so does this scorpion reaper does not we're going to start with the scorpion i was just going to do one and do another one next week but by popular request we're going to do two this week and get our burn on if you know what i mean it is saucy sunday also, got me a new little pocket knife for Christmas from my uncle. Nice little strip of rosewood there in that handle. Super sharp. I'm going to use it for my hot sauces. Let's see if I can get... I need a better setup, but hey, we do the best we can pretty thick label on this one I like that I feel like that lid was screwed on all the way all right guys this is the Aubrey D's scorpion from the rebel reserve lineup let's get down these ingredients apple cider vinegar Trinidad scorpion peppers ghost peppers red habanero peppers carrots blueberries honey oleo resin capsation which for those that don't know that is extract pepper extract onions tamari sauce which is water soybeans and salt alcohol to preserve the freshness it says garlic salt xanthan gum and ginger i can already tell you it's going to be a hot sauce. You can pick up the picking up the blueberries, picking up the honey. You're definitely picking up the peppers. You got, uh, like I said, Trinidad scorpion, ghost peppers, red habaneros. So you're going to have three different you got three different peppers in there you're gonna have three different kind of burns and then on top of that you got that extract well the plus is i am picking up on the honey and the blueberry picking up the onion you're definitely picking up the pepper let's get this pour on guys it's a loose sauce Definitely comes with more life on the spoon. The peppers. Definitely pepper forward. Alright guys. Saucy Sunday. Let's get this first one on. This is Scorpion Aubrey D's. Right off the bat. You get the burn. I had some nice chunks 
I'm pretty sure it was onion. What I don't like, what I did taste, is that extract right off the bat. It's got that wicked burn all over your mouth, back of the throat, tongue, tongue wings, side of your tongue. Basically anything that extract touches, it's scorching. Talking does not help. But on top of that heat, you are picking up in the forefront, in the background, whatever you're talking about, picking up the blueberries, picking up a slight little bit of the honey. Not a whole lot of it going on. If you look at the chunks going on in there. Nice pepper chunks. Heat scale on that spoonful of the scorpion. I'm going to give it about a three. Non chili head. I'm going to easily find that a seven or eight. That extract is nothing to mess with. Said it is a looser sauce. Be good on enchiladas. Tacos. I mean, I could even see putting some in some chili. The blueberries, it's not a... Just because it's got blueberries and honey in it, don't buy... By no means means it's a dessert sauce. Be good on any kind of Mexican dish. Something like that. This is the one that's going to be a little scary. And I'm going to get me a little wash down with water and clean my palate. Spread that capsation around. Now this one here. Reaper 51. I've heard it's a pretty bad sauce. <clears throat> Lips got that that lingering still around. To be honest, that's why I can't really judge much on the second sauce, doing multiple sauces. My palate's not that refined. This one's got some, uh, it's got some different, uh, different kind of ingredients in it. So we'll definitely, it starts off pretty cool. We're going to give it a good shake. So this is the Reaper 51. After that drink of water, I feel like I got, uh, candle wax on my lips. Got the whiskey chest going down. Good shake. A little pop on the bottom. This one's definitely, uh, this one looks to be a little thicker. Let's run down the ingredients on the Reaper 51. Starts off with strawberries. I'm a huge strawberry fan. Then we go to Reaper Pepper. We got. Apple cider vinegar, water, mandarins, ghost peppers, red habanero, red scotch bonnet, <clears throat> onions, carrots, honey, tamari sauce, garlic, ginger, and xanthan gum. This does have strawberries, mandarins. It is also loaded with pepper. No extract in this one. <clears throat> but it does have reaper pepper, um, ghost pepper, red habanero, and scotch bonnet. Four different kind of peppers. Scotch bonnet, similar to habanero. and got that stingy burn. 
My favorite pepper combinations is a uh, ghost pepper habanero. I do like a scotch bonnet as well. Oh yeah. A little flavor saver fell out of the lid here. Bear with me while I get a napkin. That one. Strong, strong smelling right there. Definitely 100% picking up the peppers. I want to say I'm picking up the strawberries. Being high, it's the first ingredient. You would think I would. Really, I'm just picking up peppers. It's going to be a hot one. Going to be a hot one. I'm picking up the onion, too. Onion stands out. I'm not picking up the mandarin. Like I said, barely. I think I'm getting a, a slight smell of the strawberries. Here it is, guys. Reaper 51. Let's get the pour. Definitely a little thicker sauce. Now this is one of them weird sauces. I was just fixing to say on that scorpion sauce, they about 90% of the time they come out more on the spoon to me than they do the bottle. This one, not so much. It's funneling the, the aroma out of the neck of this bottle. You know what I will say? You're getting the peppers all the way around. Pepper Ford, Reaper 51, Aubrey D's, supposedly the hottest sauce in their lineup. We're going to give it a shot. This is Saucy Shane. I love you guys. Couldn't do none of this without you. I appreciate it so much. Let's give us a shot. Love the consistency. Believe it or not, you pick up the strawberries. I'm picking up the mandarin oranges. That's a delicious sauce. It's warm, but it's not too warm. Not uh, I'm sure I got a little heat residual laying, lingering from the scorpion sauce and that extract. Pretty good sauce. My opinion, this one's harder. But, last week when I did that ghost pepper sauce, it blew my mind. Now, I don't know if it's because I was uh, thinking ghost pepper, but that extract in it, you couldn't taste it, but it hit you hard. And this one, without the extract, and the reapers, the scotch bonnets, said I can't really tell the difference between what the peppers are. You just know it's peppers, pepper forward. You're definitely picking up the onion. I like that. You got chunks of it. Um, this one had great consistency. Some seeds in it. Uh, chunks of onion. This one a little looser, but I would say this one's a little hotter with the extract in it. Scorpion peppers, it's got that wilder burn for some reason. This one got a nice burn to it. I'm going to give it a two on my scale. Nine chili head, probably going to find it a five or a six, maybe a seven. It depends on their scale. It's hard to judge other people's tolerances. 
but I got a nice, nice even mouth burn. That one wasn't too overpowering. Had a good, nice consistency. Uh, definitely not vinegar forward. It's definitely pepper forward with that little strawberry in the background. Very good sauces all the way around. Go check out the Aubrey D's. I'll put the link in the description. I love you guys. It's going to wrap it up for Saucy Sunday. I love y'all so much. Couldn't do this without y'all. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be as saucy if it wasn't for my saucy fans. I got to get my hands on some more sauces. That was all, all she wrote. It's like Mother Hubbard. The cupboard's bare. May have to start doing some uh, food videos where I add the sauce. So what I show what I add the hot sauce to. We got some things coming up. But uh, everything's in the works, guys. It's a new year. Big things hopefully going to happen. Smash that thumbs up. Share it out. Couldn't do this without y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. Ring that bell for notification. It don't cost a thing to subscribe to channels. Ring that bell. You won't never miss a video. Send you a notification right away, guys. I love y'all. It's a saucy Sunday. I'm out. Saucy Shane. Stay saucy. Stay safe. I love y'all.